Did you know that Baru and Min Byungu are actually the same person? Well, not quite. Let me explain. In solo leveling, Min Byungu was one of the S rank hunters. But what made him different from all the other S ranks was his incredible healing and strengthening abilities. On the other hand, Baru was a powerful ant monster that recently hatched from an egg. His strength put all the other ants to shame. One day, Min Byungu and the other S rank hunters went to subjugate the ants. And to no one's surprise, they successfully hunted the ant queen. But then, Baru showed up, heartbroken and enraged. He slaughtered a bunch of hunters, and among them was Min Byungu. Baru had the ability where he could obtain the powers of the creatures he ate. So after devouring Min Byungu, he could use powerful healing magic. That's what everyone knows. However, what everyone didn't notice is that Baru didn't just eat any part of Min Byungu. He devoured his head. This is why, after becoming Jin Wu's shadow soldier, we could see many similarities between Baru and Byungu, other than the healing, of course. When he was alive, Byungu told his friend that he loved Korean history and dramas. He also wanted to be a teacher. On the other hand, just like Byungu, Baru also enjoyed watching historical dramas. He would often mimic what he saw on TV. And contrary to his insect-like appearance, he had an intellectual brain. Furthermore, Baru also inherited Byungu's goofy personality. After Byungu's death, Sung Jin will revise him for a short time. So, we can conclude that Baru and Byungu have different souls. However, devouring Byungu's head certainly influenced Baru's personality, turning him into the fan-favorite character he is today.